we'll get a couple of trees in. You like the trees. Hello and welcome back to Software Inc. Now, on the last episode, we got absolutely hammered and uh, I was taking it a bit too far. And it was quite tricky because, you know, we didn't... Yeah, I live on a really busy street. We didn't actually manage to have much time or an opportunity to build. So, I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. So, what we're going to do, we're just going to focus on the building for this episode. And we're going to see what we can do. I'm in a, in the build mode. So, I, I'm, I have unlimited funds. And I've got an idea. And now, I want to make a simple um, hexagon type shape. And it, I want it to kind of like spiral around, so it's as if it's got like different parts. And then what we'll need is like a central part where the elevator can go up through the middle in order to access the different floors. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start maybe here. And we're going to have four there. We're going to have it go across diagonally. So we need to make sure it's straight across. Is that diagonal? I don't think it is. Diagonal, 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 diagonal. So 5.7, four. 5.7, 4, 5.7, 4, boom. Okay, so this is going to be the base, okay? And from the base, we can then build up in order to create the next part. Now, we have to do the same again, but we need to do it offset. And in order to do that, we need to put some kind of foundations down here so we can use them as supports. Um, and at a later date, we'll be able to kind of tidy it up. So let's just do it. So if it's going to be there, we're going to want it to maybe start here instead. So it's going to come across here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It might be all right. We might be okay. Let's try it. So we're going to do two off center. So along four. One, two, three. Yeah. We might be, we might not. Let's see if it'll allow us to do it. I'm not sure. Do, 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 do. Yeah, lovely. Four across here. We'll do four across here. I wonder if there's a shortcut that we that allows us to kind of keep it locked in. Oh, it does allow it. Fantastic. So now we're going to go offset again, but this time I want it to kind of like spin around. So it goes from here, and then I want us to be able to go go around almost like a. Um, a stack of coins really so I'm this time I'm gonna bring the next layer in I'm gonna bring the next layer in so I'm gonna start from here and we're gonna bring it in one and we're gonna go across one I'll just make sure on the right fit so same as before four five point seven five point seven thank you four five point seven I keep doing that five point eight Now, what I'm doing, actually, I could just duplicate, couldn't I? I'm making it more difficult for myself. So I can select this, and I can right click, and I can click on duplicate. Now, let's see. Select entire building. No, we just want to duplicate this room. Merge room, destroy. Hmm, maybe I can't. I was always under the impression that we could. If I'm missing something, please let me know. This color style, yeah, it's actually not there, is it? There's no duplication at all. Okay, yep, yeah, no worries. So how are we looking so far? Hmm. See, did you see how that's come in? That's come in two, and I've gone up one. So I'm going to delete this room and make sure that I go in two as well. So yep, yeah, delete that room. So we need to start really from there, don't we? And as that stayed there, it's stayed on the same line. But I want to knock it down a line too. So I want it to go about there. I think there's a good start. So let's try that again. So 5.7, 4, 4. Goodness. Four. There we are. 
so yep that's gradually going up there which is fantastic now I'm gonna see if I can bring it across so rather than have it just sort of you know let's see if we can get this there yeah okay let me see if I can show you what I mean so rather than having it just like that I want it to kind of have a little bit more depth to it so what I want to be able to do is bring it towards me so with the, the whole buildings almost moving so it's kind of like off center so what we'll do we'll keep it in the same fashion as this but this time instead of going left we'll go down to make it kind of more interesting so we'll move it down again two tiles and we'll go across four and we'll go again we'll use the same formula as before four five seven four five point seven four five point seven four five point oh oh no lovely five point seven wicked so now that's going to come it's coming more towards this way and then th again this time we're going to come down again we're going to come down two but we're also going to go across two so that's where we're going to start so we're going to start there so this is going to be a lot different than the other ones let's see how this is going to look so we're going to come down two across two and we're going to start from this way so four five point we wanted five point seven don't we we want four now i don't know if there's going to be enough support in order for this to be structurally sound Four, five point seven, four, five point seven. My goodness, yes it is. Now we're cooking. All right, so we've got that. We're gonna bring it back over again. So we're gonna go back over two. We're gonna keep on this same kind of vein. So we'll go back over two and we're gonna start here. So four, five, seven, four, five, seven, four, five. Let's get a better view. Five, seven, four, five, seven. Okay. How are we looking? So yeah, that's looking a lot more interesting now, isn't it? So that's that. Mm, I think what we should do is we'll add we'll add one more layer, but this time we'll go over again two blocks. Four. Five seven four five seven four okay there we go super so that's just the general structure and if we use that to scroll up we can kind of see it goes down it's almost like a like coins isn't it like a stack of coins now let's let's do the outside first i mean i want it to be kind of full of windows but similarly i want it to have a little bit of color so looking around i think we'll have windows on the long edges so on these long bits here and then we'll have a color on that bit so the type of window we'll have we'll have the like a long bay window so rather than that we can if we click on this large window we can drag and it fills the whole section so if we that hold down shift I believe yeah we can keep that where is it there we go and again here I've got no idea why I'm so far away okay let's do it again we'll speed this up
Okay, so oh, that's all of the windows created. There we are. And that's got some nice kind of viewage on it. I like how the steps kind of go up there as well. That makes, makes for an interesting design, doesn't it? Okay, so now I think it's time to start thinking about colours. Now, you know, grey is boring. There is no doubt about that. So we need to think about the kind of, oh, that's the clone tool. That's what we wanted. Can you believe it? Oh, my goodness. Never mind. <sighs> okay. So, we need to think about colours. So, let's go in here and let's select, select this room. Right. So, style, style, room colours. We want, firstly, to think about the colour of the exterior. Now, I quite like the soft kind of bluey type colors but what we could do we can kind of mix it up between between two colors so what we could do is click on apply for that one and then we could apply style oh let's try that again room colors we'll go for like a like a soft soft blue like that apply and now we're going to save style exterior And then we'll apply this to every other every other one. Apply style exterior. Lovely jubbly. Okay. So now we need to think of a colour that might complement that blue. So we could go for a different shade of blue. Um so we could think about different colours and it might go like um maybe we could go like a red, if we find red, we'll make it a little bit darker. Can we change it? Yeah, no, we can't. Yeah, cool. Make it maybe a little bit softer. Yeah, that'll do. So we're going to save that style and we're going to call it exterior two. And we're going to apply this. Cool. Okay, so that's applied. So we've got kind of a, a red and blue thing going on. Hmm. Red versus blue. Blast from the past. Righto. So looking at this, we need to think about the materials that are being used. I mean, right now it's quite clear that this is concrete, not as well, somewhat concrete. Um, so we need to think about what kind of other materials we can use. So here we need to go to room construction material, exterior. So we can have brickwork, we can have maybe paneling I think that might be like fascias, tiling and that's kind of standard I'm gonna go for brickwork you cannot be a bit of, bit of brickwork so I've already done that one oh right, cause I was clicking on top that's fine okay brickwork please thank you brickwork please thank you brickwork please Okay, so it's made of brick. We're happy with that. We can see it. Job done. So that is the exterior. We've got the exterior colours on the go. Now we need to think about the interior. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever worked in an office, but my gosh, can it be awful? So we're going to think about putting some doors in first. Now, we, it's going to be like a nice big office, so we want nice big open plan doors. So what we could do is have a nice open plan doors here, but actually let's kind of fence this off, shall we? So let's go for here. If we go here, we go eight five point seven. We like five point seven at the moment, don't we? And then back down to there. Room walls have to be one unit. Yeah, that's fine. That's what I want. How can I cancel that? There. Cool. 
So we've got that. Now we need a gate. Gate. We'll have an arched gate. Will that look nice? Um, nah. Let's try an open gate, perhaps. Yeah. Okay, got an open gate. That that kind of like leads in there. That's fine. Um, and you know we need a reception desk. So let's have. Hmm, let's have that kind of the first thing. So we can have two reception desks. We'll have one there, and we'll have one there, which is good. Um, we're going to have after they've been seen, they can say, "Okay, oh, come on, take a seat." So maybe we've got some sofas. No. What about a? Let's go to furnish. Well, that's a nice little couch, isn't it? Three of those couches, nice and comfy. So we're going to want one there, one there, one there, one there. Lovely. Um, then we'll have a few there. Oh, F. Thank you. And we'll have some here and here. Cool, so we've got some couches, that's wicked. Um, you know, we also need to think about um, perhaps some water coolers or something, so we can kind of come here. And where's the water cooler? There we are. Get that next to that, which is fine. We'll have one there, and then we'll have another one on this part there. Super, so we've got a couple of water coolers. Um, we definitely need a clock. There is no denying that that's something we're going to need. And we're going to stick that one there. Super. So everyone should be able to see that apart from these guys, but they can check it out above them. Okay, so that's a kind of like reception area kind of started. Now, floor wise, I think that it's, I think we can have a good wood floor. Oh, what about that one? Hmm. No, I like that wood. Right, that's the kind of wood floor we can definitely use. And then we can also then change the color of the floor, make it like a nice dark, dark reddy type of color. So it's like an oak. See, that's bright, we don't want bright red, we just want like a dark. Let's do that. Bring it down. We almost want it quite brown, don't we? Maybe up here, yeah, that's more like it. So nice dark brown floors, that's cool. And then our walls then, let's have a think about what kind of wall colour we want. If we've got brown floor, maybe we could think about a, like a nice grey wall. Mm, that does look a bit drab, doesn't it? We don't want to go brown and brown. I mean, brown and red. You know, it's unless perhaps what we could do is we could have like a nice light grey walls like that, and then the floors we can have them as like a a light grey. There we go. There, because grey is quite quite popular at the moment, isn't it? So, nice grey interior, and what we'll do, we can actually change the colour of this furniture, and I think that they should be, I think they should be a nice grey as well actually, like that, apply, and what we can do is set as default style, reset to default, yeah, there we go, and I actually like the green, the green and the like blue and the grey kind of go well together. Perhaps what we could do is change that green though to a um, so this one. It's the primary colour. Is that the primary colour? Nope. Let's get out of that. Change the green. There. Maybe we can change this green to more of a grey. Maybe like a dark grey. I like that. So then we can set that as default then, can't we? And then we can put all of these reset to the default. I think we can select all. Yep, and then we can right click and then we can reset. Super. There we go. So that's the entrance hall looking good. Now, 
as you can see we need to find a way to get up to there and the only way we can do that is through a series of lifts now if we look here it looks like that that kind of place is the only place available to kind of make it how can I say um, lift and we're gonna get a lift do they call it an elevator yeah it looks like they do an elevator we're gonna want to need, need to put that there and we can come up here and I don't know if that's no it's not so we're gonna have to bring this one can we move it please yep thank you And that one's going to have to go there. So let's move that again. Is that about right? Yeah, lovely. Yeah, we're going to have some some serious issues with that. Well, we'll figure out the finer details later. So we won't worry about that just yet. We'll get rid of that and we'll deal with that later on. So, this is the first floor, this is the entrance hall, but now we need to think about the offices. Now, offices come in a variety of shapes and colours, um, and we want our office to kind of thrive, don't we? And I think for the first floor, you know, so we've got the ground floor, so that's the first floor, I think it'd be nice to have like a nice breakout space. So, I'm thinking what we should do is have stuff break room nice breakout space so this is gonna look like we're gonna have let's see we've got reception stuff what about a kitchen what kind of kitchen yeah lovely so we've got a cabinet corner so we can stick these on the walls like that and along along with these here and then we'll have another cabinet corner Let me rotate it at all. No. What about that one? Okay, that is there. So we'll place that one there. Lovely. And we'll just have normal counter. And we'll put these here like that. So there we are. Look, it's annoying that it's not allowing me to place that on there. Is it because of the angle? Yeah, see, that's the, f that's the floor one. And it, apparently, there's only counter in a corner cabinet. I can put another cabinet up there, can I? No. That's cool. Not a drama. So, so that's kind of like a kind of cook, like a storage area. We'll get a couple of cookers here. Look. So we'll pop one there, and pop another one there, and we can use this. And I believe that that will fit in there which will then complement the sink area quite nicely there we go that sounds that looks good now in this in the center let's have a couple of so maybe we'll have like a big kind of like regal table in the center so let's rotate that around like that we're gonna have to need a few more of these lovely a nice big table in the center um, we'll put chairs around there in a second um, over here we, we're gonna need some uh, maybe we can stick a couple of plants there stick another one there maybe we're gonna want to have some vending machines as well just so you know they've got something to have a go at lovely so vending machines uh, we're gonna want let's have a look no servers, no outdoor stuff just yet. What else can we find? Maybe we fancy a bit of light reading, so we'll pop that there. Like that, lovely. Definitely need a clock. Where's the clock? There it is. We'll get this bad boy up. Lovely jubbly. And we will get maybe a little bit of artwork. Should we get some artwork in here as well? Um, you know. 
why not something like that get that up there and then we'll have a nice looking thing awesome so that's that um, this wall's looking a little bit bare so what we can do is we can have um, a ladder shelf we'll stick three we'll have three and then we can stick some books you know there's some books there get some of these books here nice and then oh we definitely need a toaster we'll stick the toaster on the counter um, we'll get a coffee machine cooking pot we'll pop that can we pop that over here now unfortunately not we can stick it on the side there that's not a problem um, mixer don't need a mixer do we don't need a blender we definitely need yeah get some mags down over there as well and we'll get some some of these will st stick them there you know if you've ever been in an office people just dump stuff everywhere don't they there is no escaping that wicked so we've got a couple of bits and bobs in there um now let's get some let's get, let's get some seats in yeah it's gonna be cheap no expense spared let's put these in okay uh, we've got a map, we've got a plants, um, we've got a water in our taps, so we don't need any more of that. Uh, we've got a couple of these. How about a telly? So we, we can't stick a telly on the window, can we? Maybe we're a TV free. Unless, if we delete that, yep, yeah, cheerio. Can we stick a telly there? It's, no, it's not big enough. What about if we just delete that again? Yep. Yeah. Can we stick a telly on there? Yeah, there we are. We'll stick a telly there super so we've got a bit of a telly going on as well right looking in here um we're not going to put any of the computers in we're not going to put any more of those in i think as far as that's concerned we're all good yeah okay maybe we'll, we'll have a sofa or i think it's called it was called a couch yeah we'll have a couch we'll have a couch by the window there we go we'll have two we'll have one there We'll have one there lovely although can we move that I can't remember how we move it replace move oh, here we go and then we'll move that again spin that around lovely there we are cool so we've got two couches overlooking awesome so now oh no we've not done the floor definitely we need the, the kitchen floor here don't we um floor the tiles 100 percent. there's no no escaping that but the the actual walls though yeah we could we could do that couldn't we so if we apply that that's cool i'm quite happy with that the colors though can we select yes let's change the colors of the tabletops and stuff I mean, I think this office is going to go for a grey theme because, you know, grey is quite popular currently. So we're going to go for grey for all like, the counters and stuff. Uh, similarly, you guys are going to, i tell you what, if I set that as default style, I can reset. Nah, it's completely different. Fair enough. So we need to change that colour. nice little bit darker I like that and then we can put this to default okay I'll come back to that I'll change colors of them shortly um, that's fine I like that now the chairs they definitely need to change color so let's go mm, like a dark one like that I like that so we're going to set that as default style we'll select all of those types and then we will res reset to default lovely there we are happy days now office number one now this uh, this office is going to be like um like the monkey office where people who aren't really 
good. They're not they're not really high up the scale, you know. We've got the big bosses all the way at the top here. Um, so this one's going to be the monkey office. So it's going to be very like cubicle heavy. You know, it's not going to be particularly friendly. You know, no one's going to be able to um, speak to each other mu much. So here's the cubicle wall. Um, let's see. We're going to have like a, a manager area, and the manager they are going to be in here. So I'll give them like a larger space to kind of work with. There we are, and then we'll rotate that around there. There, so the manager can be in there, and everyone else, unlucky, they are going to have something much smaller. Oh, my bad. Smelly for me here. we go um, we'll have a it can be like a um, secret not secret but like private working area and then here what we'll have we'll have right down the middle we'll have rows and literally boom 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 just like that So there's absolutely no way anyone can kind of escape escape the the reality of cubicle life. Um, I think I'll kind of continue that just to there. There we go. Awesome. So that's going to be them in there. Um, I think that over here we're going to have a coffee machine. Yeah, we'll have a coffee machine. So we're going to need a table. have a table going along here lovely we'll get the coffee machine there we're gonna have an espresso machine there <laughs> alcohol yeah why not they're gonna need it and then finally we'll have a water cooler here and a bookcase Yeah, to promote, I don't know, read it. Okay, so now the next thing to do is add in the, the tech, the tables and everything like that. We're gonna give them half decent tables. So oh, let, me, let me just rearrange the grid, lovely. Thank you, so here we go, let's get them all stuck in. And there we go. And then the boss can have theirs. They can have a posh one actually. So if we go to not meeting office, I've got some posh tables. Yeah, there we go. Look, wall shelf. We'll have we'll have that one there. There, lovely. And they can work there. Right now, computers. These need to be like this. There we go. Oh, need to undo the last two. They're on the wrong side. Draw less screen. That's what we had, wasn't it? goodness right I did finish that in a sec so that'll do and then our the big boss you know he's a he's a busy man he needs to make sure everyone's doing what they need to um, nope quad screen where was it um, yeah there and then he's gonna be in his executive swivel chair like so, hmm. Oh, as if I've turned put that in the wrong way. 
Right, I'm going to fix that in a sec. So, so far, to recap, we've got our reception area, we've got our canteen area, and we've got our kind of grunts kind of area here. Um, I'm going to cut it there. I think before we go, we're going to do a little bit of outside work because it's looking somewhat drab. So we're going to add a few tables here, like this. Um, we'll get a couple of trees in. We like trees. Um, yeah, we can do like almost like a, a row of trees here. One, two, th three. That's fine. Um, anything else that we can kind of do for the outside? That's all it's got for the outdoors, which is surprising. I think we'd probably would have had a little bit more. Um, we'll do maybe we'll do like a path, just like that, just so we know where we're going there that looks a little bit better doesn't it so there we are then that is our first kind of section in order to meet our kind of executive building we will eventually make it all nice on outside we can add some decoration on here uh, we can use the um, gates in order to make it like a grassy area but you know from what we can see we've done a good job so far so until next time See you again.